The Sarvastivada Sanskrit, Chinese, Shuo Yi Ki Yu Bu Pinyin, Shuo Yi Ki Yu Bu were an early school of Buddhism established around the reign of Asoka 3rd century BCE. It was particularly known as an Abhidharma tradition, with a unique set of seven Abhidharma works. The Sarvastivadins were one of the most influential Buddhist monastic groups, flourishing throughout North India especially Kashmir and Central Asia until the 7th century. The orthodox Kashmiri branch of the school composed the large and encyclopedic Mahavibhasa Sastra during the reign of Kanishka c. 127–150 CE. Because of this, orthodox Sarvastivadins who upheld the doctrines in the Mahavibhasa were called Vaibhasikas. The Sarvastivadins are believed to have given rise to the Malasarvastivada sect as well as the Sautrantika tradition, although the relationship between these groups has not yet been fully determined. Topic. Name Sarvastivada is a Sanskrit term that can be glossed as, "...the theory of all exists". The Sarvastivada argued that all dharmas exist in the past, present and future, the three times". Vasubandhu's Abhidharmakasakarika states, "...he who affirms the existence of the dharmas of the three time periods past, present and future is held to be a Sarvastivadin." Although there is some dispute over how the word Sarvastivada is to be analyzed, the general consensus is that it is to be parsed into three parts, sarva, all, or every, plus asti, exist, plus vada, speak, say, or theory. This equates perfectly with the Chinese term, shuo yi qiyu bu, Chinese, shuo yi qiyu bu, which is literally the sect that speaks of the existence of everything as used by Zanzong and other translators. The Sarvastivada was also known by other names, particularly Hetuvada and Yuktavada. Hetuvada comes from Hechu Kuz, which indicates their emphasis on causation and conditionality. Yuktavada comes from Yukti reason or even logic, which shows their use of rational argument and syllogism. Topic. Origination and history According to Charles Prebish, there is a great deal of mystery surrounding the rise and early development of the Sarvastivadin school. In Central Asia, several Buddhist monastic groups were historically prevalent. According to some accounts, the Sarvastivadins emerged from the Stavira Nikaya, a small group of conservatives, who split from the reformist majority Mahasamgikas at the Second Buddhist Council. According to this account, they were expelled from Magadha, and moved to northwestern India where they developed into the Sarvastivadin school. A number of scholars have identified three distinct major phases of missionary activity seen in the history of Buddhism in Central Asia, which are associated with respectively the Dharmaguptaka, Sarvastivada, and the Malasarvastivada, and the origins of the Sarvastivada have also been related to Asoka sending Majatika on a mission to Gandhara, which had an early presence of the Sarvastivada. The Sarvastivadins in turn are believed to have given rise to the Malasarvastivada sect, although the relationship between these two groups has not yet been fully determined. According to Prebish, "...this episode corresponds well with one Sarvastivadin tradition stating that Madhyantika the Sanskrit counterpart of the Pali Majatika converted the city of Kashmir, which seems to have close ties with Gandhara." A third tradition says that a community of Sarvastivadin monks was established at Mathura by the patriarch Upagupta. Early history, Kanishka The Sarvastivada enjoyed the patronage of Kanishka c. 127–150 CE of the Kushan Empire, during which time they were greatly strengthened, and became one of the dominant sects of Buddhism for the next thousand years, flourishing throughout northwest India, North India, and Central Asia. When the Sarvastivada school held a synod in Kashmir during the reign of Kanishka II c. 158 the Gandharan most important text, the Astagrantha of Katyayaniputra was rewritten in Sanskrit making necessary revisions. This revised text was now known as Jnanaprasthana course of knowledge. Though the Gandharan Astagrantha had many vibhasas commentaries, the new Kashmiri Astagrantha i.e. the Jnanaprasthana had a Sanskrit Mahavibhasa, compiled by the Kashmir Sarvastivada Synod. The Jnanaprasthana and its Mahavibhasa, which took more than a generation to complete, were then declared the Vaibhasika orthodoxy, said to be Buddha's word, Buddhabhasita. 
This new Vaibhasika orthodoxy, however, was not readily accepted by the Gandharan Sarvastivadins, though gradually they adapted their views to the new Kashmiri orthodoxy. The Gandharan Sarvastivadins used the same Vinaya from Mathura. As a matter of fact, their Abhidharma was meant for meditational practices. They made use of the Hridaya, a manual for attaining arhatship. However, the long Gandharan Vinaya was abridged to a Sanskrit Dashabhanavara in the Kashmir Synod by removing the Avidanas and Jataka tales, stories, and illustrations. After the declaration of the Vaibhasika orthodoxy, the Gandharan non Vaibhasika Sarvastivadins, the majority, were called Sautrantikas, those who uphold the sutras. <laughs> Vaibhasika and Sautrantika subschools The Sarvastivada comprised two subschools, the Vaibhasika and the Sautrantika. Pioneering work on the subject was undertaken by C. H. Willman in 1975, and more recently in 2006 and in 2008 in the Journal of the International College for Postgraduate Buddhist Studies Tokyo. The Vaibhasika was formed by adherents of the Mahavibhasa Sastra, comprising the orthodox Kashmiri branch of the Sarvastivada school. The Vaibhasika Sarvastivada, which had by far the most comprehensive edifice of doctrinal systematics of the early Buddhist schools, was widely influential in India and beyond. In contrast to the Vaibhasikas, the Sautrantika Sarvastivadins did not uphold the Mahavibhasa Sastra, but rather emphasized the Buddhist sutras. The name Sautrantika means, those who uphold the sutras. Mulasarvastivadins A number of theories have been posited by academics as to how the two are related, which Bhikkhu Sujato summaries as follows. The uncertainty around this school has led to a number of hypotheses. Frauwallner's theory holds that the Malasarvastivada Vinaya is the disciplinary code of an early Buddhist community based in Mathura, which was quite independent in its establishment as a monastic community from the Sarvastivadins of Kashmir although of course this does not mean that they were different in terms of doctrine. Lamott, opposing Frauwallner, asserts that the Malasarvastivada Vinaya was a late Kashmir compilation made to complete the Sarvastivadin Vinaya. Warder suggests that the Mulasarvastivadins were a later development of the Sarvastivada, whose main innovations were literary, the compilation of the large Vinaya and the Sadharmasmurtiapasthana Sutra, which kept the early doctrines but brought the style up to date with contemporary literary developments. Inomoto pulls the rug out from all these theories by asserting that Sarvastivadin and Mulasarvastivadin are really the same. Meanwhile, Willman, Desain, and Cox have developed the theory that the Sautrantikas, a branch or tendency within the Sarvastivadin group of schools, emerged in Gandhara and Bactria around 200 CE. Although they were the earlier group, they temporarily lost ground to the Kashmir Vaibhasika school due to the political influence of Kaniska. In later years the Sautrantikas became known as Mulasarvastivadins and regained the ascendancy. I have elsewhere given my reasons for disagreeing with the theories of Inomoto and Willman et al. Neither Warder nor Lamott give sufficient evidence to back up their theories. We are left with Frauwallner's theory, which in this respect has stood the test of time. The Kasmira orthodoxy, the Vaibhasikas disappeared in the later part of the 7th century. Subsequently, the old Gandharan Sarvastivadins, the non Vaibhasika Sautrantikas, were named Mulasarvastivadins, who then at a later date went to Tibet. It has been suggested that the minority Vaibhasikas were absorbed into the majority Sautrantika Sarvastivadins as a possible result of the latter's adaptations. Moreover, Mishrakabhidharmardaya, a title which means that Sautrantika views were mixed with Vaibhasika views was composed by Dharmatrata in the 4th century in Gandharan area. Vasubandhu CA a native from Purusapura in Gandhara, composed his kosa based on this text and the Astagrantha. While in Kasmira, he wrote his Karakas which were well received there but he faced intense opposition, notably from Samgabhadra, a leading Sarvastivada pundit, when he composed his Basya. By his Basya, Vasubandhu made it clear to the Vaibhasikas that he was a Sautrantika, which is why he was fiercely opposed by the Sarvastivada Vaibhasikas in Kasmira. In reply to Vasubandhu's Basya, Samgabhadra wrote a text, the Nyayanusara, according to reason. This work is presently only extant in Chinese from Zanzang's translation and little is known of it in English. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Orthodox Vaibhasika doctrines. 
Topic: All exists Sarvam Asti. The name Sarvastivada literally means all exists. Sarvam Asti, referring to their doctrine that all dharmas, past, present, and future, all exist. This doctrine has been described as an eternalist theory of time. According to Westerhoff, one reason they had for holding this theory was that moments of consciousness are intentional are about something, and thus if there are no past entities which exist, thoughts about them would be objectless and could not exist. Another argument is that to account for past actions karma, which have effects at a later time. If an act of karma no longer exists, it is difficult, argues the Vaibhasaka, to see how they can have fruits in the present or future. Finally, past, present and future are mutually interdependent ideas. If past and future are non-existent, argued the Vaibhasikas, how can one make sense of the existence of the present? In the Samyukta of Bhidharma Hrdaya, a 4th century Gandharan Sarvastivada text, the core Sarvastivada theory is defended thus. If there were no past and future, then there would be no present period of time, if there were no present period of time, there would also be no condition factors Samskrta Dharma. That is why there are the three periods of time trikala. Do not state that there is a mistake. When stating that the fact that what is remote is past and that what will exist is future, does not exist, and that there only is the present, this is not right. Why? Because there is retribution of action. The world honored one has been saying. There is action and there is retribution. It is not the case that this action and retribution are both present. When action is present, it should be known that retribution is future, when retribution is present, it should be known that action is already past. As has been said. If there are no such five faculties as faith I say that this is the generation of worldlings the jnana. When the seeker is the one who is bound by envelopers such five faculties as faith are not present, because the path is not together with defilement That is why it should be known that there is past and future. If it were different, noble persons would have to be worldlings. While the Vaibhasikas held that dharmas of the three times all exist, they held that only present dharmas have efficacy. Karitra, thus they were able to explain how the present seems to function differently than the past or future. Among the different Sarvastivada thinkers, there were different ideas on how this theory was to be understood. Vasubandhu's Abhidharmakosha describes four main theses on Sarvam Asti. There are four types of Sarvastivadins accordingly as they teach a difference in existence Bhavanyadatva, a difference in characteristic Laksananyadatva, a difference in condition Avasthanyadatva, and mutual difference Anyanyadatva. The positions are further outlined by Vasubandhu as follows. The Bhadanta Dharmatrata defends Bhavanyadatva, that is, he affirms that the three time periods, past, present, and future, are differentiated by their non-identity of existence bhava. When a dharma goes from one time period to another its nature is not modified, but its existence is. The Bhadanta Gosaka defends Laksananyadatva, that is, the time periods differ through the difference in their characteristics. A dharma goes through the time periods. When it is past, it is endowed with past characteristics laksana, but it is not deprived of its present and future characteristics." And so on with present and future. The Bhadanta Vasumitra defends avisthanyadatva, that is, the time periods differ through the difference of condition avistha. A dharma, going through the time periods, having taken up a certain condition, becomes different through the difference of its condition, not through a difference in its substance. Example, a token placed on the square of ones, is called one, placed on the square of tens, ten, and placed on the square of hundreds, one hundred. The Bhadanta Buddhadeva defends Anyanyadatva, that is, the time periods are established through their mutual relationships. A dharma, going throughout the time periods, takes different names through different relationships, that is, it is called past, future, or present, through a relationship with what precedes and with what follows. For example, the same woman is both a daughter and a mother. In the Abhidharmakosha Vasubandhu argues that the best system is that of Vasumitra. The Samyukta Abhidharma Hrdaya agrees. Later Sarvastivada takes a combination of the first and third theses as its model. 
It was on this basis that the school's doctrines were defended in the face of growing external, and sometimes even internal, criticism. The doctrines of Sarvastivada were not confined to all exists, but also include the theory of momentariness Kesanika, conjoining Sampriyukta and simultaneity Sahabu, conditionality Hichu and Pratyaya, the culmination of the spiritual path Marga, and others. These doctrines are all interconnected and it is the principle of all exists that is the axial doctrine holding the larger movement together when the precise details of other doctrines are at stake. Kasainavada Orthodox Sarvastivada also defended the theory of moments This doctrine held that dharmas last only for a moment, this measure of time is the smallest measure of time possible, it is described in the Samyukta Abhidharma Hrdaya as, the smallest period of time is one kasana. Time is extremely small with one instant. That is why a kasana is said to be the limitation in time. Concerning the measure of a kasana, some say that it is as a powerful man who, looking around hurriedly, observes the multitude of stars, according to the going of time, one star is one kasana. Moreover, some say that it is as a powerful man who, during a long time, snaps with the fingers, sixty-four kasanas pass. Moreover, some say that it is as a powerful man who cuts thin silk thread of kasi with a very sharp knife, cutting one thread is one kasana. Moreover, some say that the world honored one did not pronounce the word kasana. Topic: Svabhava. In order to explain how it is possible for a dharma to remain the same and yet also undergo change as it moves through the three times, the Vaibhasika held that dharmas have a constant essence, svabhava, which persists through the three times. The term was also identified as a unique mark or own characteristic that differentiated a dharma and remained unchangeable throughout its existence. According to Vaibhasikas, svabhavas are those things that exist substantially as opposed to those things which are made up of aggregations of dharmas and thus only have a nominal existence The three vehicles Regarding divisions of practice, the Vaibhasika Sarvastivadins are known to have employed the outlook of Buddhist practice as consisting of the three vehicles Sravakayana, Pratyakabuddhayana, Bodhisattvayana. Views on the Buddha Sarvastivadins viewed the Buddha's physical body SKT, Rupakaya, as being impure and improper for taking refuge in, and they instead regarded taking refuge in the Buddha as taking refuge in the Dharmakaya of the Buddha. Some people say that to take refuge in the Buddha is to take refuge in the body of the Tathagata, which comprises head, neck, stomach, back, hands and feet. It is explained that the body, born of father and mother, is composed of defiled dharmas, and therefore is not a source of refuge. The refuge is the Buddha's fully accomplished qualities which comprise Bodhi and the Dharmakaya. <inaudible> <inaudible> views on Arhats According to A.K. Warder, the Sarvastivadins held the same position as the Mahasamgika branch regarding Arhats, considering them to be imperfect and fallible. In the Sarvastivadin Nagadatta Sutra, the Mahisasaka view of women is criticized in a narrative about a Bisuni named Nagadatta. Here, the demon Mara takes the form of her father, and tries to convince her to work toward the lower stage of an arhat, rather than that of a fully enlightened Buddha Mara therefore took the disguise of Nagadatta's father and said thus to Nagadatta, Your thought is too serious. Buddhahood is too difficult to attain. It takes a hundred thousand nayudas of kodas of kalpas to become a Buddha. Since few people attain Buddhahood in this world, why don't you attain arhatship? For the experience of arhatship is the same as that of nirvana, moreover, it is easy to attain arhatship." In her reply, Nagadatta rejects arhatship as a lower path, saying, "...a Buddha's wisdom is like empty space of the ten quarters, which can enlighten innumerable people." But an arhat's wisdom is inferior. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Views on bodhisattvas. Regarding divisions of practice, the Mahavibhasa is known to employ the outlook of Buddhist practice as consisting of the three vehicles. 
The Sarvastivadins also did not hold that it was impossible, or even impractical to strive to become a fully enlightened Buddha and therefore they admitted the path of a bodhisattva as a valid one. References to bodhisattvayana and the practice of the six paramitas are commonly found in Sarvastivada works as well. The Mahavibhasa of the Vaibhasika Sarvastivadins includes a schema of four paramitas generosity, dana, discipline, sila, energy, virya, and wisdom, prajna, and it says that the four paramitas and six paramitas are essentially equivalent. Foreign teachers hold that there are six paramitas, adding patience and meditation. Dhyana. But the teachers of Kasmira say that the last two are included in the first four. Patience is included in discipline and meditation in intuitive knowledge, they are accomplished upon completion of discipline and wisdom. <laughs> Canon <laughs> Vinaya The Dharmaguptaka are known to have rejected the authority of the Sarvastivada Pratimaksa rules on the grounds that the original teachings of the Buddha had been lost. The complete Sarvastivada Vinaya is extant in the Chinese Buddhist canon. In its early history, the Sarvastivada Vinaya was the most common Vinaya tradition in China. However, Chinese Buddhism later settled on the Dharmaguptaka Vinaya. In the 7th century, Yijing wrote that in eastern China, most people followed the Dharmaguptaka Vinaya, while the Mahasamgika Vinaya was used in earlier times in Guangzhou, the region around Chang'an, and that the Sarvastivada Vinaya was prominent in the Yangtze River area and further south. In the 7th century, the existence of multiple Vinaya lineages throughout China was criticized by prominent Vinaya masters such as Yijing and Dao'an (654–717). In the early 8th century, Daoan gained the support of Emperor Zongzong of Tang, and an imperial edict was issued that the Samga in China should use only the Dharmaguptaka Vinaya for ordination. Agamas Scholars at present have a nearly complete collection of sutras from the Sarvastivada school. Thanks to a recent discovery in Afghanistan of roughly two-thirds of the Durga Agama in Sanskrit. The Madhyama Agama T26, Chinese trans. Gautama Sangadeva and Samyukta Agama T99, Chinese trans. Gunabhadra have long been available in Chinese translation. The Sarvastivada is therefore the only early school besides the Theravada for which we have a roughly complete sutra collection, although unlike the Theravada it has not all been preserved in the original language. Abhidharma. <inaudible> <inaudible> During the first century, the Sarvastivada Abhidharma primarily consisted of the Abhidharmadaya authored by Dharmashresthan, a native from Tokaristan, and the Ashtagrantha authored, compiled by Katyayaniputra. Both texts were translated by Samgadeva in 391 AD and in 183 AD respectively, but they were not completed until 390 in southern China. The Sarvastivada Abhidharma consists of seven texts. The texts of the Sarvastivadin Abhidharma are Jnanaprasthana, Foundation of Knowledge, T. 1543 to 1544. Prakaranapada, Exposition, T. 1541 to 1542. Vijnanakaya, Body of Consciousness, T. 1539. Dharmaskanda, Aggregation of Dharmas, T. 1537. Prajnaptasastra, Treatise on Designations, T. 1538. Dhatakaya, body of elements, t. 1540. Sanjaya discourses on gathering together, t. 1536. Following these are the texts that became the authority of the Vaibhasika. Mahavibhasa, great commentary on the Jnanaprasthana, t. 1545. All of these works have been translated into Chinese and are now part of the Chinese Buddhist canon. In the Chinese context, the word Abhidharma refers to the Sarvastivada Abhidharma, although at a minimum the Dharmaguptaka, Pujalavada and Theravada also had Abhidharmas. Appearance and language Appearance Between 148 and 170 CE, the Parthian monk and Shigao came to China and translated a work which described the color of monastic robes SKT, Kasaya, utilized in five major Indian Buddhist sects, called Da Baichu Sanchian Wiyi. 
Another text translated at a later date, the Sariputraparaprasha, contains a very similar passage with nearly the same information. In the earlier source, the Sarvastivada are described as wearing dark red robes, while the Dharmaguptas are described as wearing black robes. However, in the corresponding passage found in the later Sariputraparaprasha, the Sarvastivada are described as wearing black robes and the Dharmaguptas as wearing dark red robes. In traditions of Tibetan Buddhism, which follow the Malasarvastavada Vinaya, red robes are regarded as characteristic of their tradition. Language During the 1st century BCE, in the Gandharan cultural area consisting of Adhyana, Gandhara and Bactria, Tokharistan, across the Khyber Pass, the Saint Havriyas used the Gandhari language to write their literature using the Kharosthi. The Tibetan historian Bhutan Rinchen Drub wrote that the Mahasamgikas used Prakrit, the Sarvastivadins used Sanskrit, the Stavira Nikaya used Paisachi, and the Samadhya used Apabramsa. Influence Relationship to Mahayana The Sarvastivadins of Kasmira held the Mahavabhasa Sastra as authoritative, and thus were given the moniker of being Vaibhasikas. The Mahavabhasa is thought to have been authored around 150 CE, around the time of Kaniska of the Kusana Empire. This massive treatise of Abhidharma 200 fascicles in Chinese contains a great deal of material with what appear to be strong affinities to Mahayana doctrines. The Mahavabhasa is also said to illustrate the accommodations reached between the Hinayana and Mahayana traditions, as well as the means by which Mahayana doctrines would become accepted. The Mahavabhasa also defines the Mahayana sutras and the role in their Buddhist canon. Here they are described as Vipulya doctrines, with Vipulya being a commonly used synonym for Mahayana. The Mahavabhasa reads, What is the Vipulya? It is said to be all the sutras corresponding to elaborations on the meanings of the exceedingly profound dharmas. According to a number of scholars, Mahayana Buddhism flourished during the time of the Kusana Empire, and this is illustrated in the form of Mahayana influence on the Mahavabhasa Sastra. The Manjusrimalakalpa also records that Kandiska presided over the establishment of Prajnaparamita doctrines in the northwest of India. Etienne Lamott has also pointed out that a Sarvastivada master is known to have stated that the Mahayana Prajna sutras were to be found amongst their Vipulya sutras. According to Paul Williams, the similarly massive Mahaprajnaparamitapadesa also has a clear association with the Vaibhasika Sarvastivadins. Tibetan Buddhism The Vaibhasika and Sautrantika subschools are both classified in the Tibetan tenets system as the two tenets of the Hinayana, ignoring other early Indian Buddhist schools, which were not known to the Tibetans. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese meditation Sarvastivadin meditation teachers also worked on the Dhyana Sutras Chinese, Chan Jing a group of early Buddhist meditation texts which were translated into Chinese and became influential in the development of Chinese Buddhist meditation methods. See also Tibetan Buddhism tenets system References Topic Sources Topic Further reading For a critical examination of the Sarvastivadin interpretation of the Samyuktagama, see David Kalupahana, Causality, The Central Philosophy of Buddhism. For a Sautrantika refutation of the Sarvastivadin use of the Samyuktagama, see Theodore St. Cherbotsky, The Central Conception of Buddhism and the Meaning of the Word Dharma.